How's it going, guys? It's you by TCG, and we got our mana cards back. I'm really excited to see what grades we got on a lot of these. I don't really remember what I was thinking some of these were going to get. If I remember, I'll kind of say it in the video. We've done one mana opening before, or like a thing, but we are now a mana partner. So this technically is not a sponsored video, but I am a partner of mana. Just want to disclose that. So now this is going to be the exclusive grading company that I grade with. Um, I also have a promo code if you guys want to grade with mana. It's Yugi Boy, so Y U G I B O Y, and gets you 20% off if you want to grade with mana as well. So, definitely really awesome, but really excited. Let's see what they, they usually send me some stuff. Ooh, cool. They send me a bunch of hard sleeves. That's really cool. They always send extra stuff. Actually, are those the. They might have just sent me the ones I had back. Like, they might have actually sent mine back with it, which is pretty cool. But it comes in this amazing box, and they're very, very fast, and they use AI grading, so it's really good. But let's get into these cards. I don't remember exactly which cards I submitted. Exactly. It's got to be really loud. Hold on. Come on. There we go. Where, where is that? We're going to use a Duelist Alliance pack to cover up the grades. So let's see what we get first. So here's the collector, collector's rare, not collector's rare, ultimate rare Korean Queens that I sent in. It looks pretty good. Um, we'll have to see though when we get on it. Look at the back again. I, I think I predicted this one to get like a nine, but I can't remember exactly. Nine and a half, so that was really close to a ten. But that's a Korean Queen's Knight Ultimate Rare. I've got way more exciting ones in here that we'll see later. Here's the Jack's Knight. I'm guessing this one will get a pretty similar grade. I think the centering's a little off, but still a really good card. Let's see. This one just got a nine. So the surface was a eight and a half. Not, nothing I could see, but with AI, it's way better because it um, it's going to scan every imperfection, which makes it pretty hard to get 10s. But I think this is why this uh, they're going to be worth more in the future because PSA has been pretty inconsistent lately. That gets still really good, but um, the turnaround time on man is really, really good. And I really like their cases too. So we got this Trihorn Dragon from LOB Legendary Collection. Nine and a half. So we're getting a lot of nine and a half. Or <clears throat> nines. But hopefully we can get a ten. I really hope we can get a ten out of these. So here's the uh, five-headed dragon I sent in. This is actually a Japanese promo from the tins. You guys saw me open that tin. It was probably a while ago now. But let's see what we can get out of this here. A ten. Flawless. I've never got a flawless before. So this is a perfect 10. PSA doesn't have these. Beckett does. They're black label 10s. So what it is is it's 10 on the centering, 10 surface, 10 edges, 10 corners. That's amazing. I didn't know this one was going to get a flawless, but that is just... Oh, that's so awesome. There are some really expensive cards I've got in here, so hopefully some of those can get some really good grades. All right, let's see what this one's going to get. Another flawless. So two flawlesses. I've never even gotten a flawless before. So this is my second time grading with them. And uh, it's just been so awesome. I actually sent these in before we were a partner. My next one will technically be with um, as a partner. Technically, this wasn't as a partner yet. But it is just so awesome. And it came quick. The only reason I didn't have this video out earlier is I actually had to go uh on a family reunion and here's the slifer i didn't get a raw yet so i'll have to grade that too here's the slifer but um these would have been in here last week but i had to reschedule my delivery date nine and a half Ooh. so two tens and two nine and a halfs i'm corners and centering if those are both tens i believe you get a 10 i think that's how it works and then I think the surface and edges have to be just a nine and a half or better. I think that's how you get a 10. Just a normal 10. 
or everything's a 10 but one then it's a obviously just a normal 10 as well here's the japanese um oh my god what is the name of this card oh it's not a 10 it's a nine and a half uh great shogun shian why was i having a brain fire on the name of that card really good looking card though nine and a half we've done really well we'll say all nine and a halves besides one nine i probably should have actually put these in order of what we've gotten hold on i can do that really fast i've just been so excited to get these this is gonna be another either korean or japanese card so here's my ancient fairy dragon collector's rare that i wanted to get graded let's see another nine and a half so i had everything 10 so it isn't so edges have to be a 10 for it to get a 10 that is actually a really mint that is like you can't really get much better than that if it's a nine and a half that's a really high nine and a half everything's 10 but the edges which were 9.5 that's really crazy Oh, my Mass Hero Dark Claw. So this was the quarter century rares that came out for the TCG, for, or for the OCG first. We'll be getting this set. Actually, that um, Angel Fairy Dragon will be in that set too. This comes out in November for us. So we'll be able to get a Mass Hero Dark Claw then. Another nine and a half. So this one's not as strong. So it's got three nine and halves and a 10. Still a really good card though. Please be my strike at Neos. Uh, we have, we did, I know I submitted my uh, Air Neos. So I hope we can get that as a uh, flawless or something. So this is an honest I sent in. Ultimate Rare, Korean. So this is just a gem mint 10. So see, 10 centering, 10 edges, 10 corners. So centering, I'm trying to think of what gets you a 10 because we had a 9.5. So is it edges in centering that have to be 10? I can't remember how to get a 10, actually. Obviously, you can get all of it, and it will be a 10, but I'll have to look through that again, but still a really good-looking 10. I also have my Dark Magician Girl in here. I'm really excited to see what that will grade. So here's a Korean Blue Eyes White Dragon from LOB. Another 9.5. So when I was looking at these cards, I gave most of them, I think, 9 or above. These are some really good cards. So that's a nine and a half. That even could probably be like a PSA 10 if I was to send it into PSA. But the, with the AI, it's pretty hard to get flawlesses. So when you do get them, it's pretty amazing. Here's my Dark Magician Girl. I'm really just hoping for like a nine or above. It is off-centered, but it's a ghost rare. So it's going to be really cool just to see what it gets. A nine and a half. Yeah, the centering I knew was going to kill this card. So they gave it an eight and a half for centering. But surface edges and corners were 10. So that's a really high scoring ghost rare. Like, that's actually really, really nice. We'll be sending in another ghost rare here soon. But really beautiful card. So a lot of nine and a halves. I will take it, though. Here's my Elemental Hero Bubble. Man, Steam. Oh, my God. What is the name of this card? Obviously, we'll see it in a second. But let's see what it gets. So it's got a 10. So got a 10, edges and corners. That's what you have to get. Two tens for edges and corners. And then you can get a 10. Because this one had nine centering, nine and a half surface. Uh, yeah, it's a little off centered. So that's pretty true with that card. But still, beautiful, beautiful card. And it was uh, Elemental Hero Steam Healer. That's the actual name of the card. Oh, that's a 10. So we got four tens so far, which is really, really good. So I got my Korean air neos we do have a ultra rare english as well first edition or er, first edition i actually think it is first edition i'm trying to remember now so let's see what this thing is going to grade we got another 10 i'm gonna have to look into it then is it you know what one of these might have been mislabeled i'll have to look back at that but here's another 10 air neos korean really awesome card though centering yeah it's a it's really really slightly off centered maybe a little bit more on the back but that's a really good looking card still great looking card that's a 10 
Let's look at this. Will definitely be the English Arneos. Really hoping for like at least a nine or above. Um, I don't think it'll get a ten, but I think nine or above would be pretty, would be pretty awesome. This one got a nine. I'm really happy with that. The surface makes sense. It's an older card, but centering was perfect. Corners were a nine. Edges were nine and a half. Really, really sick card though. That was really close to being a nine or a nine point five. That's really awesome. But I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. This won't replace an opening. We'll still have three openings this week. But to get two flawlesses is pretty amazing. Like I didn't know if we'd get a flawless or not. I was hoping my Dark Magician Girl actually no. I knew the Dark Magician Girl wouldn't because of the um uh what was wrong with it? The centering was off. Actually, let me look at that card again. Yeah, the centering was off, and the other stuff was 9.5. So it wasn't going to get a 10. Or it could have got a gem mint 10 if the centering, I think, would have been a 10. But the centering was off. I knew that when I sent it in. Still a beautiful card, though. So happy to add that to the collection. But hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Like I said, we'll not replace an opening. This will probably come out, probably release it on Friday because we'll have – actually, no, that would have already happened. When No, maybe I'll have to come out on Friday because – We'll have a live stream if you haven't seen that. We'll have live streamed uh, Duelist Nexus case. Um, we'll have, we have a mystery pack thing we're going to be opening. And then uh, Duelist Nexus booster box. But also, I'm going to show you guys a couple things I picked up while I was on my vacation. So I picked up a Rainbow Neos. I would pull it out of this, but my hands are a little, I don't want to get it, anything dirty on it. The case is more what you're seeing. With a Ghost Rare First Edition Rainbow Neos. I picked it up at a local store called Pallet Town. Oh my god, was it Pallet Town Pokey Store? I can't remember. Let me see. What was that called? Pallet Town Pokey Shop. I went there. Really cool store in Buffalo. I mean, it's not exactly in Buffalo, but if you're near Buffalo, New York, it will not be far. But I picked up this Ghost Rare Rainbow Neos from there. Uh, they do have pretty good singles for Yu-Gi-Oh, but they have a lot more Pokemon, obviously. Then I picked up this Odin, Father of the Asir, uh, Ultimate Rare. This one, I think, is light play to, like, uh, moderate play, but it was a pretty good deal, so I had to get it. Then I also got this Majestic Red Dragon. I think this one is going to definitely be a grade card. We'll probably grade it. I'll have to take it out of the case and everything, but the foiling on it looks really mint, so we'll have to send that in. But... To mana, obviously, we're going to be doing that. And I have some other cards we'll be sending in, too. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.